All right, in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to assemble this linear belt slide. It uses a 28BYJ-48 stepper motor. These are the motors commonly found in Arduino kits. You can buy them on eBay for about a dollar. It's gonna use uh, BBs uh, for bearings for a linear rail, and it also uses a 3D printed T TPU timing belt. It's a GT2 pitch. This is part of a series of actuators I'm doing. I first started out with this dovetail slide, uh, which uses the same stepper motor, uh, but to drive the carriage, it uses an Acme, or I'm sorry, a trapezoidal screw. Uh, it's It's got t screws for adjusting the clearance for the gib and also uh, a screw for adjusting backlash on the nut. It uses BBs for a, a thrust washer for the trapezoidal screw. Um, and then next, I made this version, which the carriage uses um, BBs, recirculating BBs, and it can carry a lot more load, like 30 pounds, uh, because of the reduced friction of the recirculating balls. The first thing you want to do when assembling this is to put these um, M3 by 20 millimeter long screws in. Uh, this is these screws are for adjusting for the take up. I'm sorry, adjusting for the preload. All the screws on this are uh, M3 socket head cap screws, uh, either 10 or I think this one's 20 millimeters long. Uh, the others are 10. So right now these you just want to get them started because you won't be able to get them started later. Next, we're gonna insert the belt. It's uh, a little easier to do this now than later. So we just get it started like that. Next, we're gonna start inserting the bearings. You want 20 per side. So once you got 20 in there, just put the cap on. And these are the M3 by 10 socket head cap screws. So you have one side done, move on to the other side. Be careful not to allow the carriage to run off the rail because your balls will all fall out. All right, once you have this done, you should be able to move the carriage and then adjust the preload till it feels right. Feels pretty good. Uh, so now I'm going to insert the motor in the dry pulley. There's an idle in the dry pulley. The, uh, the dry pulley has a flat on it and the idle is round. We're going to put this angled side up and the pulley should sit flush with that top pilot 
on the motor. And this will take two more M3 nuts. And two more M3 by 10 millimeter long socket head cap screws. All right, once you got the motor in place, then we're gonna take this clamp here that's gonna hold our idler and insert the, insert two more M3 nuts and M3 by 10 millimeter long socketed cap screws. We're not going to tighten them yet, we're just going to leave them loose and get our pulley with the angled side up again. And then install our timing belt. Push down all the way. Put a little tension on it. And tighten the clamp. Now it's all assembled and ready to try. All right, I got a little, little short program in my Arduino here that's going to just move it back and forth. All right, there it goes. Just give you a little example of how much you can move. Oops, some grams. Here you go, two pounds. Three pounds, there's four pounds, six pounds, almost seven, there's nine pounds. I think it can go up to about ten until the belt starts skipping. Let's see. Yeah, there you go. There's ten. The motor just stopped. So there's the linear belt actuator. It's pretty neat. You can find all the files on Thingiverse.